Posting is the last step in creating an on-demand lesson. So, let's review what you did to get here. First, you captured the raw footage for your video. This might have been a screencast or video footage you captured using a camera. Next, you used a software tool, like Camtasia or Windows Movie Maker, to edit this raw footage into a final video, which you published as a finished video file. That brought you here to posting, so let's look at how that works. Posting your video means you make it available to your learners online. So, you want to post it somewhere that learners can reach it anytime, everywhere. The obvious choice for this is YouTube, but GCS's internet filters block YouTube for learners when they are on a GCS campus and blocks it no matter where they are if they are using an Amplify tablet. GCS does this to comply with federal requirements to protect students from inappropriate content on the internet, and GCS could lose its reduced cost access to the internet if it doesn't comply. GCS recognizes the value of instructional videos, however, so it provides a safe solution called GaggleTube that allows a teacher to share videos with learners. GaggleTube is one of a suite of services, along with email and file storage, that GCS uses to provide students with safe communication tools. Think of GaggleTube as Guilford County's private YouTube. It allows teachers to upload videos, organize them with tags, link to them, and embed them onto a teacher website, Moodle page, or Edmodo course. In fact, GaggleTube is actually built on top of the YouTube network, so you're getting all the advantages of YouTube without the distraction it can provide to your learners. You can even use GaggleTube to share videos from YouTube that would otherwise be blocked. You can post directly to YouTube if you want, but it adds an extra step because in order to make your YouTube video accessible to learners, you have to go into GaggleTube, search for your YouTube video, and then add it to your GaggleTube collection. Furthermore, you may not be able to find your video in GaggleTube immediately after it's uploaded to YouTube, and, in some cases, you might not ever find it. So, while YouTube is an option, GaggleTube takes less time and effort and is more reliable. There are, of course, other options. Just Google alternatives to YouTube for teachers. But none of these gives you the power of YouTube's network, along with the safety of GaggleTube. Theoretically, you could upload a video to Moodle, Edmodo, or your OneDrive account, but since these tools aren't optimized for video, you and your learners will quickly find yourselves frustrated with the sluggishness of how they perform and the limitations on your ability to use them as a platform for sharing. So, as you consider what tool you will use to post and share your videos, give Gaggle a good look before you explore other options.